hello dearest welcome back to my channel this is my family hoping everyone is doing well and i am back to share with you another delicious recipe check out this polony roll mm -mm -mm -mm. it is very yummy and super tasty and as a parent you always have to make sure to make something new for your family to enjoy especially when your children are back from school and instead of them to buy outside make this for them and they will enjoy it and thank you and it can be served as a breakfast as well so i know you wouldn't want to miss on how i made it so join me whilst i take you through step by step process in a bowl i will break two eggs into it and next i'll go ahead and add fresh milk as well Mix everything together until well incorporated and set aside beautifully. Now, if we're new to my channel, I will be delighted to have you join us by subscribing to my YouTube channel, adding on the bell so that you will be the first to be notified when I upload new video. Now, in a separate bowl, I will add three cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'll go ahead and add baking powder nutmeg and salt mix everything together until well combined you may use cake wheat flour or soft flour for this recipe if you don't have all-purpose flour once that is done you go ahead and add your butter or margarine mix everything together until the butter and the flour are well combined beautifully and i will show you how it's supposed to be once you mix everything together so as you see i'm mixing them together until it's well combined beautifully and i will show you the consistency how it should look so this is how i want to just look at that in ghana we'll call it it look like gary photo so you, you must get this consistency just like this. If it is not this consistency, you may add a bit of margarine or butter to achieve that. Next, you go ahead and add your egg mixture gradually and mix until the dough is properly formed. Now, if you want to know how to mix all-purpose flour at home, I have the recipe on my channel. You can scroll through it and watch on how to make your own all-purpose flour at home if you don't have the one from the shop. If you also get the one from the shop, then it is all right. I am using my homemade all-purpose flour and it works 100% just like the ones in the shop. So this is the consistency of the dough I am looking for. Just look at that. It is very soft and nice. And I will show you how malleable it look just look at the way it looks it is very nice and perfect and easy to work with at this point just look at the way it looks this is how your dough is supposed to be not too soft and not too stiff either so at this point i'm just going to shape it nicely and cover it with a cloth and allow it to rest for about 15 minutes And this is 15 minutes later and let's check on our dough look at the way our dough look at now it is very very nice and soft very relaxed and beautiful so at this point i would divide it into two equal sizes and next is to place one on the working board and begin to roll So at this point, I'm rolling the dough into a flat consistency or a flat thickness. So I will keep on rolling it as flat as I can. And also I am rolling it to be a bit square as possible as I can. And I will show you the thickness that I am going for. Just look at the way it looks now. 
this is the thickness it look i'm going for this thickness it's very nice and perfect and i will show you how it look okay So this is the thickness I am going for. Just look at that. Very flat and nice. So at this point, the next thing is to place my polony on, on it. It is a sliced polony that I sliced in the house. If you get the already made sliced polony from the shop, you may use it as well. If you don't have, you can slice it by yourself. Next, I'll go ahead and add my chopped onions as well into it nicely. Once that is done, next I'll add crushed chili flakes for those of us who want it to be hot. And trust me, adding the chili flakes makes it more and more delicious. You will love the taste. But if you don't want the chili flakes, you may omit it. It is optional. Next, I'll go ahead and add sliced tomatoes on it as well. Once that is done, you begin to fold it over and roll it, roll it over, just like the way you see me, roll it over gradually so that you don't rip the whole thing off. You keep on rolling, you keep on rolling to the end just like the way you see me doing it just like this and then you seal it just look at the way it look yeah so at this point you make sure to seal it beautifully you see the ends nicely just like this okay just look at that it's very nice and perfect so once you are done sealing it next you begin to slice them nicely just like this you have to cut them according to the sizes that you prefer. I am cutting them according to the sizes that I prefer. Next, you place them in your baking pan. Make sure to add baking paper inside the baking pan to make it easy. But if you don't have the baking sheet, you may add some butter to the baking pan before you place your roll in it so once you are done placing all the roll the next thing is to brush them with the egg wash nicely and just look at that it is very nice so at this point whilst you are brushing it make sure to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius or according to your oven settings not too high and not too low as well it should be in medium setting so i am baking it at 180 degrees celsius so once i am done i'm going to bake it for 30 minutes at 180 degrees celsius And this is 30 minutes later and just look at that our roll is beautifully baked and nice just look at that isn't it beautiful yes it is and this is so yummy and tasty trust me it's a must recipe to try and you will give me the testimony in the comment section Thank you all so much for watching and I believe you enjoyed this video. If you did and you always want me to bring you more recipes, please do well to like and give your girl a thumbs up. Subscribe and share so that by so doing, the recipe will go far and people will see this channel and support. Thank you for watching and if we're a new subscriber, Welcome to my channel. This is Mafeli. Thank you so much for subscribing. 
and always remember at Mafeli, we believe in the old adage, your health is your wealth, so be mindful of what you eat. Nyamibwa, yekeye biyako. Bye.